We all know what tagging is, or at least the negative stereotype. Things like that often carry. You can find it all over San Antonio and South Texas. But can that negative be turned into a positive? Can taggers turn a hidden talent into works of art? Well, that is exactly what some of San Antonio's top graffiti artists are trying to do. News 4 WOAI's Patricio Espinosa takes us into a world not often seen of art born on the streets. We're trying to make a statement here. When we think of graffiti or tagging, this is what many of us think about. There's the stereotype that anybody with a spray can is a tagger. It's so not true. I can't write my name like this. It's, I just paint images. But true or not, it is reality for some neighborhoods in San Antonio. And that is the stereotype that Nick Supe, better known as Soup, and Carlos Lopez, who goes by CN, want to change. Hey, quick, CN, do like a little fancy write-up over here. What's the kid thinking? They are two of the best graffiti artists in San Antonio, and it wasn't easy to get to them. But they agreed to a news camera because they want to change what hearts and minds think about graffiti. I feel like I painted with some people like I'd never hang out with if it wasn't for paint. Literally, one spray can at a time. There's a lot of kids that they want to be cool, they want to get up, and they go tagging, trying to leave their name all over the place, and what they forget sometimes is that it's a, it's a representation of themselves, and I don't know if tagging a dumpster is the best way to, to get themselves across. Cian, who came from Chicago, says he was lucky to get off the streets. As I grew up, starting off as, you know, a tagger, the only thing that drove me to become a better artist was when I realized that I was in a whole different league. And this is what Cien and Soup are talking about, taking art born on the streets to a level that inspires others to follow. It doesn't always have to be a dark, dreary, ugly, weird world. And to be honest, it's more for me than anything. This is my medication. This is where I escape. There you go, Cien. And this is my, my therapy. And what does it take to go from the streets to this graffiti artwork? To some, it may be a lifetime, but to others, they say, it's waiting for that one opportunity that may come along. So we're talking about kids, working with them, being role models. How do you take a kid who's out on the street, maybe tonight, doing that mm -hmm. and bringing him into this? Some kids, hate to say it, are lost. But some kids have a real talent and they just need somebody to like show a little bit of interest. And to show they care, these graffiti artists are inviting kids to get off the street and meet with them through local get to know the artist workshops. You don't have to be a tagger to be cool. You could paint. That's what I do for a living. I paint. And I'm trying to like show other people it's like, man, if a space cadet dreadlock cat like me could go out there and have some fun with it, there's no reason why they shouldn't be able to. Patricio Espinosa, News 4, WOAI.